I gotta ask you about when Snoop touched down at No Limit, though. Okay. Snoop Doggy Dog. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody was a fan of Snoop before he even came over there, seeing him over there at Death Row doing his thing. Mm -hmm. What was it like when you realized that? Wait a minute, what the heck? Snoop is over here at No Limit with us. Well, Snoop, man, Snoop was like the long lost cousin that came. You know what I'm uh, saying? Real talk, he was cool. Yeah. Snoop still cool as fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He, you know. You know, he didn't want no problems. He, you know, he just wanted to came come there. He he wanted a safe haven because a lot was going on. Pac had just got killed. Biggie just got killed. Old boy from the Lost Boys. You know what I'm saying? He had you know who it was. Uh, uh, Freaky Ty. Freaky Ty. Yeah. So it's, it was some assassinations that was going on. Big L and stuff like that. Yeah. And at that time, I was thinking it was Pac, it was Pac and Biggie mm -hmm. at that time. But he needed a safe haven. Mm -hmm. Sure, was locked up. So a lot of stuff was frozen at, 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 at death row. Mm -hmm. So it was like they were put on ice. You know what I'm saying? And he just needed to be creative. So yeah. when he came came along, it was like, you know, we, we welcomed him. Mm -hmm. He said, man, you cool over here. You know, we got whatever. You know, we, yeah. we got something to, to protect you with. We got something to keep you eating and stuff yeah. like that. P got him a crib, you know, whatever whatever he needed. You know what I'm saying? And um, so he found the family. Yeah. You know, he found a family situation and it was it was dope, man, for for as long as it lasted. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um to just to say I'm working with one of my favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have nothing on his projects, but I did do some some you know, some music for him that was on other projects. Okay. And stuff like that. And um it was amazing working with that guy. He was a freestyle, I mean, he just off the top. Yeah. It's like it was freestyle, like he had a pen and pad just writing in his head. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, damn, but you know what the fuck? And he was laying that shit, man. So just to work with somebody to his of his magnitude was another notch of my belt personally. And like, yeah, man, I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. 